Alright guys, before we start this video, I want you guys to do me a huge favor. I'm going to link my Instagram right here. If you guys go and follow me on Instagram, you will automatically be entered to win a Calmero t-shirt. I will pick that. Not in the next video, I'll give you guys a, two days to get it, but the following video. Um, so you got some chances to win a free Calmero t-shirt. I got them all in stock. If you don't win, you can get them in the merch link below. But follow me on Instagram right here. I put a ton of badass stuff up there, some sweet pictures. I have a number of guys that take awesome pictures for me. And every once in a while, we, we get out there with the iPhones. Follow me on Instagram, automatic chance to win a Calmero shirt. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another vlog, almost daily vlogs. We're, we kind of missed a day in between there. I will say if I don't vlog every single day, it's because I'm doing something. It's not because I took a day off, it's not because I was lazy, it's because I was literally doing something else. So normally I'm either working on a car or doing something. Last night I was down in South Carolina running something down there. So I was busy, didn't have time to vlog. I would have loved to vlog because I really enjoy doing the daily vlogs. I feel like you guys follow along a little bit better. And especially if we're doing like a build like the Trans Am where I just kind of go like hard at it for a week and then I work on something else and then come back to this for a week. It's pretty cool to see a week's worth of work on this guy. Before we get into the Trans Am, I'll show you guys. We got these cylinder heads here off of the Calmero. These are the old ones here, as you can see, they still got some of the old plugs in there. Those guys are just sitting in limbo right now. Nothing new is going on with them. So my ported LS3 heads, when you guys are watching this video, will hopefully be arriving at the shop like about now. And the following day, my new suspension will be in. I didn't tell you guys what I got suspension wise. I'm gonna leave that on a little cliffhanger, but I can tell you right now, I did not straight axle the car. Uh, I ain't got no monies for that. I ain't got no times for that. No straight axle, we're gonna ride out the IRS. I mean, it does good for an IRS car. I mean, it does pretty good. This new suspension, I'm really hoping it will take it to the next level. What we got going on here is just the Trans Am. And when you guys left us last, we had the window up, T-tops off, and pow! Look at this. I mean, it's like you can see better in here now that the dash is gone. And boy, oh boy, does it create a lot of room. This is like a real race car feel because race cars don't normally have like a dash. You could say like Pro Mods, they won't have a dash. So it's literally just massive steering column and like pedals, like down, it just, it just looks goofy. So as you guys saw by the title of the video, we're talking about the best mod you could do for your F body, which is the AC delete. Everyone does this. Most of the guys will do it when they have the engine out because you have access to it from the front. There's a lot of nonsense in the F bodies. Unfortunately, when you do a AC delete on an F body, you have to pull the dash out, which is a royal, 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 royal pain in the ass. But we got ours out because we are not gonna run a factory dash. So I did already sell the dash. You guys will see that oh, in tomorrow's video. So here's everything right here. The dash itself as a whole is gone. The gauge cluster is gone. I don't know if I'm getting, I think I'm selling this with the dash. So that goes with the dash and then probably this goes with the dash. But a big thing that everyone seems to talk about is this guy right here, which I cracked. That's like the front little like lid on top. That is going with the dash. And then the center console is still up for grabs. F-body center consoles, you get all the guys that are ripping a Bogue, have a SIG in a hand and elbow on the center console, they'll wear that sucker out in no time. That thing is mint. And it even comes with like a, a, a silver dollar or something in it, I don't know. So, and essentially you get paid a dollar for it. That's a mouthful. That's the intro. That's what we got going on. We got Wes in the garage right now. Wes got a new turbo on there. And uh, the old one is sitting right here. So the old one is a 68, right? 68? 66. 66, sorry. Yeah. We're, not, we're not balling that hard. No. 66 cast wheel. Yeah. And now you went to a? 62. So. Billet wheel. Yes. You gotta, you, when someone says turbo, you say, this bitch is billet. You don't hear me saying, oh, I just got an 88. No, it's a billet 88. You gotta let them, you gotta, got a cast iron you gotta shove it down their throat that you got a billet wheel. Yes, for all you turbo guys out there, if you don't have a billet wheel, just, Sorry, if you do got a billet wheel, I mean just preach, scream from the mountains, billet wheel. Hoping to make a little more power with a smaller turbo. See, yeah, I mean the backside is actually a lot smaller. I think that's like a four inch backside, so hopefully it'll cram the air through a little bit harder. And do you have any data that you're going off to going down in turbo size besides just the knowledge of it'll spool faster? No, but it should be interesting. <laughs> oh God. I mean, it can't, uh, judging, easy, judging easy what you was, say. Judging how it was with that one, yeah, so this one was super. This one was super laggy because it had a ton of shaft play in it. I'd say a ton. I mean, and I feel like that that whole setup is the shaft just, play gotten out. It's still there's still a little bit of shaft it, play. I mean, it it's not left out the building after we took it out. I thought it might have. I thought it, you might have took it out. It got pissed, so it straightened up. So this thing right here. I mean, this oh, thing's pretty minty. Yeah, that ain't bad there. It's you know that 
Nice board warner. I think I think that one's just too big for honestly pretty much any setup. Yeah, I don't know if it's necessary. I mean, it's a bigger turbo for sure, big turbo yeah. Honda, but. Uh, I think there were some other factors into why it was not coming into boost. Uh, you have boost by gear, which you still need to figure out. Yeah. Uh, that could have been a huge factor. Also, the shaft play could have been another huge factor. Also, fueling could have been a huge factor. So, three things there we will see. Uh, do you plan on making the switch to E85? Possibly. Possibly. So, that's, we'll just go we like this. To, we need to talk to uh, the sheets in Lillington. Yeah. Well, they're, they're coming there. I'm on E, as you guys know, which is like kind of, I, I wouldn't say it's a controversial topic, but it's definitely a good topic to talk about because guys are like, E is a shitty fuel, and other guys are like, E is a great fuel. Depending on what happened to the car, which caused it to lean out and burn cylinder head, that's going to decide how I feel about E85. That doesn't mean I'm coming off of it. I'm just going to stick to it and just trust it, but there's a little bit of conversation on that. So, what do you need to get to get this thing wrapped up? Downpipe and tune, mainly. Yeah, down, you need a couple V-bands, yeah. a couple silicone clamps, nice couplers, either, yeah. some vibrant stuff. You're about to get hit up with vibrant, so, yeah. yeah. My non-sponsor. Non-sponsor. We have a lot of non-sponsors around here. Once you get this thing wrapped up, we will definitely see more of this on the channel. Yes. We've got to get tuned. Hit up Jay Mills. He's been in a couple videos. Hopefully, he hooks you up, because you got a scramble before streetcar takeover. I know. It's going to be pushing it tight. Listen. You're unlike me. I'm always buying parts all the time, and you're just waiting. I know. You need to be more like me. Just throw that money away. Don't even bother taking your check to the bank. Just sign it and give it to someone. That's, That's how you got to do it. I have direct deposit, so it just goes in the bank, and then I see my bank account, and I'm like, man, that thing looks good. Don't make money without spending money. All right, we are in the Trans Am. We have some lighting behind us, so hopefully you guys can see there's not terrible shadows everywhere. And this is what we're left with. That is all the AC stuff that we need to remove. I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, damn, John, you probably know what you're doing. This will happen in a breeze. No, no, I got zero idea because even when the guys at RPM would tell me what to do, I just wouldn't be paying attention. So now, looks like I better get to work because I need to figure out how to get this AC off. I'm not putting the delete panel on there yet, but I will probably like mock it up just to make sure. If I can, I'm only giving myself 40 minutes to work on this because I have to go and edit this video before I go to sleep tonight. If I can get the bulk of the AC out and some of that wiring, I also have to take the brake master cylinder off and the, that wiring out because I'm stripping every single wire out of this car. If I can at least get the AC stuff out in 40 minutes, I'll be pretty happy. Now, I have zero idea of where to set my expectations, so I'm hoping that 40 minutes is enough to allow to that. But Wes, what do you think? I got faith. Let's see how far we can get. First thing we did is it's five and a half millimeter. These look wide. This is like this is as bad as like some of these push pins. Five and a half millimeter. A bunch of these bolts holding. I mean, I'm just I, essentially a metal push pin. Yeah, <laughs> I'm at the point right now where I don't know what I'm doing. So you go with the strategy of take things off and eventually it'll come out. So that's what we're doing. Got this bar half off. As you guys saw in the last video, I yanked on the wheel. I guess if I took this off, I could have dropped the steering column and got it out that way but I had good neighbor Dennis over he got me in that mindset of nah man just rip that some bitch so what I did is is we put some we put four hands on it we gave it a slight little heave ho and peeled its muffin cap back blue so the wheel is toast we're already ditching the wheel we're going with a uh, upgraded steering shaft but you imagine just if you did a pull and you go to like make the pull and then the whole wheel just comes back I should sell that wheel just for that reason <laughs> it's like it's like double tilt <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple more here's here's an example of the five and a half millimeter um, just total pain in the ass I guess I'm gonna see what I can get out I'm assuming once you kind of get the ball rolling everything will just be, oh take that off next and that off next but we're uh, we're just getting started here and I'd say you know big progress first piece big piece that's what I like to see all right guys I've made a new discovery it looks like uh, there's a bunch of big ass bolts right back there so there's like two one two three four i'm hoping if i could take that i can kind of pull this whole section back i've been trying to like chip away a little bit at these small screws and all that and it just like leads me nowhere and then i stopped and went live on instagram for about 15 minutes which is why another reason you guys need to follow me on instagram so you guys see the behind the scenes footage of all this stuff and i talk about like stuff off the record as i say in my instagram live videos because i just can so um yeah I, Wes, what do I do here? Do I just go after the big bolts or keep plugging away at the little ones? Usually the big bolts get rid of uh, larger things, so... Uh, I like the way you think. All. all right, we're going to go after the big ones. 
All right, quick little update here. I found a couple more little screws at the bottom of this, which now make, frees up this whole thing pretty good. Um, still some little like push pins kind of deal. Some clips holding the, the top on, so it's tough to get off. I'm starting to pull this wiring off because all the wiring is going to go. Right now, these go out and down into the door. Still need to get those out. We're going to end up taking the door panels off. We're going to be lightening up the door a little bit. There's a door bar down here we're going to take out. And then we're going to be wiring up the power windows just so we have power windows. Everything ideally is going to be on a switch up here except for the power windows. Yeah, I know race car going to keep power windows. Everyone's giving me shit. Why would you do that? Well, I just want power windows. Sorry. That's kind of one of my things I want. Other than that, it's just tough, man. The wiring's in the way. This, I need to figure out how to get this off. If I can get this off, that will definitely make a huge help and just clear some space up. But as you can see, trying to not make a giant mess here. The weekly vlogs, you're not going to see as much cinematic stuff. It's going to be more business. I didn't even bother doing a time lapse on this because you just... A lot of times you'll just be staring at my ass. I'm facing this way, working at it. The light's coming from the back. You guys don't need to see that. So I am going to keep plugging away here. When I find out what the next step is, I will check back in with you guys. All right, guys. So at this point in the night, I am going to call it a wrap. Wes came out, helped me get that little black support that was for the... I guess just the dash really it had this entire meaty wiring harness. If you guys would not believe how much these wiring harnesses weigh, um, but that was what was attached to it. That was what was giving the wiring harness some support so it wasn't just dangling around everywhere. Uh, we can see we've got the steering rack almost loose. Um, or sorry, the steering rack, the steering column, I should say. Sorry, you guys can roast me in the comments below. Didn't wor work too much on the AC delete there. Mind you, I'm doing all of this in an hour. That's all I really allow myself. So I try to stay on a time schedule. Got a little bit behind there because we're on Instagram Live. Bones, follow me on Instagram. But yeah, so we are, I mean, we're doing as much as we can at this point. Uh, I'd say that's kind of a big jump forward as now I know what I need to do to get the AC delete out. I have access to the master cylinder, the brake master cylinder, and all this wiring, which I need to rip out. Once I get that out, the carpet comes out, and then we get a hole saw, and we start hole sawing away. And we're just going to literally turn this thing into Swiss cheese. Make it as light as we can. I do want to thank guys for watching this video if you stopped by. I'm not sure how long it's going to be because I just did a bunch of little short clips, but if you did stop by, check out the vlog. I do thank you a lot. It's your first time stopping by. Please go down and click that subscribe button. First link in the description is for my YouTube call out ride alongs in the cow mirror, which I'm super excited about. The other two are my merchandise. Be sure to check those out. And like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, automatically enter to win a Calmero t-shirt. Uh, I'm super excited. Salty Chicken is moving right along. Calmero, I got parts rolling in. I got a ton of parts coming for the Salty Chicken. We got a lot of work ahead of us here in the next, I'd say, two months, and I'm super excited about it. So be sure to check out tomorrow's video. It's a wrap. It's all we got going on here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.